Alright, by the time you see this video, I've already had these next few videos that are up for right now. They, they will be uploaded by then. And I'm going to be heading out to this. I'll be getting even more videos recorded. And those might be going up first before this one or actually afterwards. Um, the next video that's going up right now is the plan for the Hunter Coastal Breeze with the 2 inch fan. Which you guys would have already saw by now. The show fans at my house, my aunt's house update. And the Honeywell reassembled. Which. I know you guys have already finished the reassemble. I'm using it on high speed right now. It's working great. I'm just giving this key to key a little bit of a break since I used it all night yesterday. And I shut it off. I had it on for a little bit on speed free, but I figured I'd just give it a break. I do use this one quite a bit. I figured when it's not too bad, I'd just use the Honeywell and when it's somewhat hot, I'll use this one and have it on speed four. So, yeah. This is the Honeywell. I'm going to be heading out to a mall today and there's some fans there that I haven't gotten videos of yet. But I did get pictures of one of them a while ago. Okay, the camera again when bedroom is on. Speed four. The brown one up front is shut off, surprisingly. But this one's usually always on. But, um, yeah. The kitty key pedal is the one I'm working on as the back portion right here was a bit loose. And the, um, housing on it was hanging against the blades. So, I'm gonna show you that right now, the rest of it. It's right here, drying off. I cleaned it up today, it was a bit dusty. So, um, yeah. And there's the brass plating starting to wear off a bit, but not a big deal. So, um, yeah. See, there's a radio in the background. At least it's not something from getting me videos copyrighted. But, um, yeah, that's it for this portion of the vlog. I'll add some more to it. So, um, yeah, I'll pick it up, when, um, pick it up later on today. Alright, so this kitty case is going to be assembled after it dried up. Um, yeah, this, this dog. Other news is going on is the lamp that's in my mom, not my mom's room, my grandma's, or my grandparents' living room is finally being repaired. As one, not this dog, but the other one decided to chew up on the cord. So, um, yeah. That's the one I would do to like the iMovie remakes down here. Oh, right back when I first started doing the iMovie remakes, so I figured, you know what? I need to get this lamp fixed since someone is over here. And we always keep it disconnected when we're not using it, so he was lucky that it was disconnected when he chewed on it. So we just need we just need to turn that I can reattach it. I could just use electrical tape, but I don't feel like that's the best idea because the electrical tape loosens up over time. And I don't want wanted to give it to electrocute my grandparents, so I'm just taking a safe way out. Also, up some more news about the um Coastal Breeze is that instead of having my friend fix it, I'm thinking I'm just going to bring it to one of those repair shops and have one of those guys fix it instead. Only because I feel like they, they would definitely know how to fix it a lot better than he would. And also, just to get it out of the way, so that way he, all he has to do is just install it. So, um, yeah. I might, try, I might do that today. Because I made it to the repair shop. I might do it tomorrow instead. I'm not sure. Probably today, actually, would be better. But, um, yeah. So that will be it for this portion. I'll, if there's anything else I feel like filming today, I'll add it to the video. So, um, yeah. That will be it for now. Thanks for watching. Alright, so I'm getting ready to bring the Hunter Coast Breeze of 52 inches to a repair shop. For those who don't know, the switch housing on this fan is busted completely. Um, I went back to the place who sold it to me, the furniture place. Um, I asked one of the workers if they know how it happened, like why it got busted. He told me that when they were removing it, it accidentally, somebody accidentally dropped it from like, not a high distance, but like when they were taking it down, it didn't like drop from the, where it was, like when they were holding it, they accidentally dropped it and something. So that, that switch has been busted. So that kind of makes sense why it's busted like this and such. Um, my friend was going to fix it, but he, I, he said, without even showing him the inside, he just said, he assumed that he can... He would have fixed it by just drilling a hole into it, two in it using screws, and then I showed him the inside. And since there's like a a thick portion, you can kind of see like where it's separated. This portion right here where my finger is touching, it's like a plate, 
and the switch on thing was, I can get soldered onto it. So maybe the guy at the repair shop might be able to solder it back on. And I'd rather have him do it, because if you guys would take apart the wiring and, and all that, the people down here, they know how to fix it if they're, if you're like a repair shop and stuff. A buddy of mine, I really don't think he knows how to do the wiring on this too well, so I'd rather just give, have a repair shop person do it instead. And I'm leaving the switch cap for it on to like it here, just to keep the screws for it. So, just so they don't get lost. So, just so it makes it easy, he doesn't have to keep taking it apart. Um, it's the same person that fixed up the key of the K. I'm a, I will bring the phone one of these days to show the repair shop. It's just extremely hot right now. And the pants that I use sometimes to sneak out the phone and do videos is being washed right now. So, yeah, this it will show up too much in my phone, in my pocket. So, I'd rather just not even bother. So, yeah. So, yeah, next time you get to see this screen, it will be fixed. So, that will be it for this portion of the vlog. If there's anything else, I'll add it to to the rest of it so um, yeah thanks for watching